Okay. Okay. This is working. The microphone's yeah, yeah, the microphone's working. So what do we do now? So uh, now, why isn't it working? Why is it that slow? Uh, why is it that slow? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I had to simplify stuff. Let's just not simplify it. Um, let's just not simplify it. So what I want to do now is, is okay. I want to, I want to check first of all, if I can now just basically evaluate this. Um, so if I just hit run, I mean, that, that gives you a very big, yeah, very big expression. So now I want to see if I can, <laughs> can I, um, I, I want to see if that is basically the same as I was doing here, right? What is that? That's just a question. Of... No, that's, I'm just closing these. So it's between these and that. Uh, so here we just had basically the same backward pass. So, so we want to see, right? So we want to take a look at these and then, um, what I want to see if this is evaluates kind of the same thing. If it just if I just test stuff, right? If I then I want to instantiate that these randomly, okay? How how can I? So what I want to know is can I inst can I? So I have a, I have an expression in SimPy and I want to basically instantiate that. Is there a way? So I have an expression with a lot of symbols, right? I have an expression in SimPy with a lot of symbols and I want to instant or to evaluate it with a series of different values. Is there a way to do this with a random sample? Um, Oh, how do you, how, how will it go? So to do the, so how, how do I, is there a way? Um, I have an expression with SimPy with a lot of symbols and I want to evaluate it if, evaluate if the series, evaluate the series, evaluate this expression with a series of different values. Is there a way to do this efficiently in SimPy? Uh, without having to define every single symbol uh, by hand. You know what I mean? Um, maybe because because then I want to just take the same thing. Hmm. Lambda is when it converts SimPy expression to a Lambda function that can be used. Uh, as a regular Python function. Oh, that would be good. Okay. Because. Uh, okay, yeah, but I have to actually give it the whole thing, right? Is there, is there a way? The thing is, what I want to do is I want to, I want to, I want to take these. I want to take these, right? So I want to do these. Let's do that. So what do I have here? So here start with x, w1, b1, w2, b2. Okay. Yeah. So essentially, this stuff is what I get. So I wanna, I, I what I want to now do this is what I want to kind of test that, right? So I want to test if expression equals what what we got by applying the chain rule okay so here i just get like a why is it uh and b what do you like pipe uh, NumPy. So, <sighs> max is not okay. So I can't remove. Can't remove max. 
Um, so I want to take that NumPy matrix, and I want to essentially I want to turn that into all these different symbols in here, right? Evaluate those symbols. I mean, the symbols are generated here, right? So. Because that essentially generates all the symbols. Hmm. Is there a way? Is there a way? List all the symbols. Expression. I guess. I guess so, right? I just want to make sure that I, what I do is I take these and then I actually assign. So. Because maybe what we need to do is just just make these small right just just to at least make sure the expression we're getting is the same and it's not too complicated so it looks like that would do and if i just did the, the expression is the derivative which i'm not going to print anymore because it's just too big um let's run this and see what i get okay Mm. Yes, but essentially a lot, right? Hmm. Okay. Interesting, because it seems like some of the elements kind of get cancelled out or whatever, right? X7, W1, 71. How is this Y true, Y true 0? That is interesting. I would have to find I would have to find a way to instantiate all that. Uh, uh, I would have to find a way to instantiate all that and then compare here, right? Unless X, X. What happens if I just print X? Because the thing is, what happens if I print X? Print X, okay? Uh, X here. Like, is there a way for me to just access the symbols in here? Yeah, okay. It does. It does already. So essentially it just it just enumerates each of them like that. Why? I just why why is this doing it like that? Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. And W one, if I do W one, print W one then if i do w1 then it does okay so now it does it properly like that right um okay okay so it does like the zero 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 one one zero one one okay so each element is kind of coded like these right because this means if it's if they're just coded like that then i could as well I could as well just um, uh, I could as well just resolve amplify no 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 uh, uh, symbols substitute with the subs methods how how the subs method works how does the subs method works because I could essentially just do that by iterating. Iterating, uh, iterating, yeah, yeah. Uh, SP symbols, X, okay. Iterating, you know, I could just iterate or iterate over each of these elements, right? Um, I could just, I could just define here the test like upfront, right? 
and just say so here's gonna be the test I mean that's the test and then I could just free symbols and I could just iterate and it's like is that a free symbol that is a free symbol then I just substitute it right so mm, subs okay simply symbol I mean we have the symbols right so how can I have a symbol programmatically I do have access to X right here still if I say like X I mean if I okay so print X because then I could just as well iterate over these Wait, interesting. Some of these have actually numbers. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So that's, uh, sorry, sorry. Let's just, let's just, uh, let's just comment that, comment that, comment that. Uh, I'll just comment that, comment that, comment that. And then let's just see what happens uh, if I print X. It just still tells me everything, right? Yeah. Exactly. Because if I just print the X, uh, what, ca what 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 keyboard am I using? German. Is that that's that the correct thing to do? Yeah. How do I do? <laughs> How do I do? How do I do in German? Uh, using Mac, which I've never used before. How do the square brackets, bro? How do the square brackets, bro? Show keyboard viewer. How do I do the square brackets? Where are the square brackets? Why didn't see the square brackets? Oh, what is this sound? Why there's no square brackets? <laughs> it's a funny sound. I can copy them from here. That's fucking lame. That's fucking lame. That's very lame. So if I do that, zero, zero, right? That will print one symbol. Subscriptable. Why not? No. I cannot. Uh, oh. oh, okay, so that actually behaves like a matrix. Okay. But then in the case of W1, I do have like, I, do, I can't do that, right, in case of W1. No? Really have to iterate like this? It seems like, but I thought because if I print W1, it's kind of structured like an array of arrays, right? Anyway, I need to find a way. So, Seems odd if I do this. That's a weird, odd way of accessing that. Whatever. Okay, so what I want is what I want is the following. So I want to. So I want to programmatically do this. So I want to create. I want. I want to. Uh, I, I, okay. So what I want to do is I want a script that uh, wait, that initializes the following Python variables using MP and then takes the values in them and programmatically uh, 
substitute them in the respective uh, symbolic expression inside the derivative variable. Um, I don't know if it's 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 probably not too clear. I don't think it's gonna get it. I don't think it's gonna get it right. Um, yeah, that's been done. It's fine. Okay, so actually, it 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 just renames them to sim sim sim. Uh, fine, but maybe it'll just work well. Uh, that's the thing. Okay. <laughs> It really hasn't understand understood well what I. But it's it's just doing the same thing so far. And then, uh, yeah, okay. And then initialize these. Subs direct. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I don't know if that works. I mean. Dictionaries for substitutions. Would that work? Straight. That's a copy paste. So what we've done is like it does this, and then basically these ones. Uh, we'll just remove the same thing because they are just. Uh, but maybe it will be good to keep it like these. Okay, this is building some dictionaries, and then it does a, a dictionary substitution. Okay. I don't. That, it, this rarely works in the first round, but let's give it a try, and then we'll we'll do that in the next session. Otherwise, okay. So fast, no breaking. <laughs> So far, it's not breaking. I don't know if it's going to be derivative substitute. Does this does this trigger an evaluation right away? Mm. It's taking quite a while. <sighs> yeah. Okay, but that would be shouldn't even have had to think about. Is in the first place. I've spent fifteen minutes just thinking about this when I just asked the AI to do it for me. Okay, it's stuck in too much. We'll probably debug this in the next session, but that doesn't look bad at all. It doesn't look bad at all. It doesn't look bad at all. See you next time. <laughs>